Okay, let's get started. Thank you again. My name is Sal Marquez, um, and I will be presenting the talking through uh, our acoustic window order from PO to install. A little bit different style of uh, how we typically have done our webinars in the past. Uh, we want to allow people to understand what happens when a PO gets entered into our system, what happens when an order is actually processed through. And in, in this case, we're going to be talking about windows uh, and what happens to your PO when you, when you submit it for a window. Um, a couple of uh, sections of discussion that we'll be touching is uh, order. <clears throat> when Once the order is agreed and a purchase order is executed, the order flow overview, submittal phase, release for production. What does that truly mean when we say this order has been released to production? Uh, production stages um, and then shipments. How that how it gets processed through the shipment department, uh, and how are you going to be receiving your components? Uh, and on-site installation, I'll touch a little bit on that. Um, I don't have a video to share, unfortunately, for that. We are in the process of process process of putting one together, but I can talk you through it as we're going through the the webinar here. Uh, purchase order. So, in a uh, key thing, first thing we want is, uh, is we will get a purchase order. A purchase order will come with uh, specifications of the type of uh, window that was sold, size, uh, and, and then a, a vague description on the PO just stating what was purchased. Um, includes uh, some estimate for freight if, if an estimate was provided to you, uh, and also includes taxes if taxes are applicable. Uh, process and order flow. So when a, uh, RFQ is received, a quote is generated by your, your uh, sales territory manager, uh, then goes uh, anything, any, any quote generated under uh, 250000 will go under review to try to give you guys the best option, uh, the best price for the, for a better uh, option to, to get the job uh, awarded to you. Um, so we do internal review um, in that process. Once we do acknowledge and enter, uh, get a, a new order from you guys. It gets entered, acknowledged uh, by orders to you uh, within 48 hours. You'll get an email stating, uh, we appreciate, uh, we thank you for your, your order, uh, and somebody at your PM that it will be assigned for you for that order uh, will reach out to you within 48 hours. Uh, then a job file is created, job folder, uh, with a PO, budget, and quote, uh, it goes to, to, through gate one, which is a handoff to management. So um, sales meets with uh, a project manager to review the scope of work. Uh, introduction, email to the customer, which is what you guys would receive stating who your PM would be and, and, and uh, things of that nature. And then it goes through the process of drafting. Um, so that's kind of just an over, overview of when you submit the order, you know, we process the order, where it goes to and the first point uh, where it touches when it comes into our building, it gets assigned to a PM, which then the PM will reach out to you to make further contact and get additional information if required. Um, the PM will also be working with you if there is a change in scope, uh, a change in um, an order size, uh, so mainly change in scope. If there is a change in scope, they'll work with you for a change order, work back with the salesman uh, to get your revised price to make sure that we keep the, system, the flow of the system uh, uh, correct. Um, then we go into the uh, drafting department, which will create, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in detail further down. Uh, they'll go through the process of submitting some some general uh, submittal drawings. Those get sent out to make sure that we understand the scope of work, the concept of work, uh, and, and the size of the windows uh, or product that you've purchased. Um, so uh, submittal documents, critical components for information exchange. So submittal documents, we want to make sure that our drafters and our PMs have everything possible, both the salesman, sales rep, or if it's a direct uh, sell um, directly through the GC or or uh, uh, customer. We want to make sure we get as much information into the drafter the first time around so we can make sure that their submittal drawings are executed properly so it prevents any delays for any orders that are going through the system. Uh, so complete scope description, window size, uh, gauge, uh, glass thickness, and the finish is critical at that time. 
uh, mounting requirements, the type of studs, where where is this window going? What type of opening is this window going to be sitting in? So we make sure that when the submittal is sent in, we're, we're um, allocating the proper set screws um, and, and installation details to you. Uh, stage out for, and then we send it again, send it out to, for approval. Uh, additional, some additional submittal documents that you'll receive with the window packages. Uh, you'll see some sill details, which again, it, it describes the, the drafter is able to tell, okay, this is going to be going into a stud wall. It's going to be going into a drywall. Um, what type, what type of, uh, attachment point will they be, will this window be going into? And then a couple other small details on the window, you know, just some, some generic information is glass thickness um and and the wall thickness uh are, are critical again and these are things that we would like ver definitely verified in the field because once you get this window you can you can uh you can't shrink the window um if it's a, if if it's a window that is it's an hm window so these are a couple of critical things that we want to make sure that we address early on and get to the drafter and we make changes as we go through it a uh, submittal package once once everything's been approved um, from, you know, we all agree, yes, check all, check all of our green boxes, say we're good to go. Uh, the drafter has submitted the, the drawings that fit the needs and requirements that we're looking for. Um, and uh, then it goes into uh, an order release uh, function, which is the bill of material gets created, build sheets for the shop, installation drawings, miscellaneous uh, items are also detailed in there. Uh, you know, any expediting, if, if, if applicable, powder coat color selected, uh, whether it's prime or powder coated, and then any QC special QC instructions. If there's a, you know, a, a specialty to that window, if it's a one, one way mirror glass, the certain specific, certain specifications that the customers requ requested, we'll keep a close eye and make sure that they get executed properly. Process, uh, production process, uh, shop uh, engineer reviews our package and sends it into the shop for fabrication. So when we say a, a, an order has been released, um, you hear that, uh, where is, when you find, try to find out where's my order. So when you hear an order has been released into manufacturing, so what happens is the manufacturing uh, department, release uh, department gets our packet from our drafters at noise barriers into the manufacturing plant. They then create what's called a um, manufacturing packet for the for the shop, so they know what type of what type of window they're making, what type of glass needs to be purchased, uh, and then what thickness and finish. Um, then they they hold uh, daily stand up meetings every morning uh, to make sure that we're meeting your your expected dates. Um, you know, if anything comes up, if there's an issue, the glass came in scratched. Um, if the window for some reason was made the wrong size, whatever it may be that cause that will cause a delay. Then we bring it up immediately, make sure that the customer is notified and make sure that we get it through the process to be corrected immediately. So, um, you know, for the most part, orders go through. No, there is no glitch. There, no, there are no issues. Uh, this is just mainly if the, the reason for these stand-up meetings is just to ensure that the customer is constantly um, informed of the process of their order. Uh, shop is loaded as first come first serve and that's why it's critical to get all of the information and all the details to make sure that the flow of your order is 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 uh is simple so there are no returns back into the drafting department because it starts all over it starts it starts the clock from the beginning so it's critical to get that all that information in and, and the flow once it hits the floor uh it, it flows through smoothly it's again it's a first come first serve basis Raw materials are selected, so we have uh, between fur windows. Typically, we try to stick. You know, we have one uh, one gauge steel that we use um, for windows, 12 gauge. Um, there are you know certain times where a window needs to be blast resistant, um, so there may be some blast material that gets installed to it, but that's that needs to be ordered separately. But for the most part, we try to keep some of the materials in house to be able to produce the window in a timely fashion. Um, Galvanio material would be more, most mainly our common type of material that we would use for a window. Uh, if it is uh, presented to type, some type of moisture, water, then we try to use definitely the galvanized material to try to prevent any rust from happening in the face of the, the structure itself or the window, the window frame. Standard size and, th and thicknesses are, are stocked to prevent lead time issues. 
Um, again, uh, any windows that are under uh, eight feet, we try to make sure that some of, you know, we keep as much material in house as possible to try to accommodate four foot, six foot, eight foot windows, two foot, three foot windows. Um, the raw material are all sheared. They go through a, a shearing process. Uh, some of them now have gone through our new lasering process. Uh, but for the most part, the most common routine on how these are done is they're sheared to size, uh, throat, the throat dimension of the window, sheared to size, and then uh, penetrations are made on any of the, the window um, frame. And I'll show you a little bit about that uh, further down just to for attachment points. So that's all done in this process, uh, beginning process of manufacturing after the materials have been selected. Uh, window frames are formed. Here's a couple of window frames on the left-hand side. Uh, basically, the, the the beginning, the second stage of a window. Uh, all four sides are formed. Uh, depth depth are as required for opening or acoustical performance. So you could have an eight-inch wall, you could have a ten-inch wall, you can have a twelve-inch wall, fourteen-inch wall, depending on the acoustical performance requested by the customer or the opening where this window is going. At this time, the foam, the perf is also formed to ensure that the, the fit finish of the perf is fits properly when the window is manufactured. Um, so we don't have to remanufacture the perf as we're trying to install the glass. And again, easy flow of the product. Tubes are cut to size and drilled at the same time. The tubes you'll see at the bottom picture here at the top, also in the upper picture. Um, that's all cut to size, and that's what will be holding your glass, basically the glass stop. Uh, frames material transported for assembly. Windows are uh, are sent to powder, so we make sure that all parts, all the parts that are required, then go to, to our powder fit powder line, uh, with a job number tagged on each piece to ensure nothing is lost or missing. So these do go through the shop. They go through one multiple phases phases before they they hit the powder coating line. Uh, so we want to make sure that everything's labeled properly. There aren't missing components. So when the next person or the next phase uh, receive those parts to continue their process of it. They ensure that they have all of their parts, so they're they're clearly marked and labeled. Uh, you can almost see on this one faintly that there is a, a job number, a, a shop job number on here, um, and all the parts will follow that same job part number. Finished windows, uh, clean and prep. Uh, windows are 100% sprayed and scrubbed prior to powder. Make sure you get all the residue from the machines, the oils, everything off of the the anything that could prevent the powder coat, whether it's primer colored, from sticking to the actual window itself. Um, windows are moved to the glass uh, for glass installation. So the next phase, after they've been powder coated, they go right into glass install. Um, as you can see here in the window, they go through thorough cleaning. They, they make sure that the, the glass is inspected for a second time after it's been received to ensure that there, there hasn't been any scratches that have happened after the glass has been received. So we're not shipping a component that's, that's scratched or broken or chipped that won't meet the QC qualifications to be able to, to ship your window order. Uh, windows then head to crating. Uh, crating, uh, you know, they create they create a particular type of um, crate for these windows to ensure that they're secured properly, heavy duty base to protect them from damaging the glass, damaging the window when they're transporting with forklifts. And typically we've tried, depending on the size of the window, typically between three, or four windows. Again, if it's a, if they're four by fours, you put four windows in a crate, you don't have a problem. Any bigger windows that you try to put more than three in will cause a balance issue and also will be a higher risk for um, damage in transit when they're when they're opening the side of a crate. So some of these things are critical too. Um, our, our crates are labeled on a specific size where it a side where it should be open if it if the glass is coming loose. Because what happens is if, if one side of the crate is, is heavier than the other and you remove one one piece of uh, one side of the lumber wall, it could cause the, the skid to tip over and damage the window, damage break the glass. So it's always critical to take a look at the load when it's received uh, because of what could happen again is making sure that the they I know that they do level uh, level load the, the crate itself before they close it, but it's always a good thing, good idea to keep an eye on it, especially when receiving materials of this weight and size. Uh, crate, created, once the order is fully created, um, we get dimensions and weights. Uh, we'll get a, you'll receive a shipping letter, as you see here, as a sample. 
Um, this is expected to get sent back uh, in order to be able to put the order in process uh, and get a truck um, to the proper location. Uh, this is key not only to help us to make sure that we're shipping the right to the right address, that the right equipment is there to receive it. Again, sometimes these windows are extremely heavy. Hand, hand unloading them isn't the most um, proper way to unload these crates. You'd either need a forklift, um, some type of lull, some type of machinery that, that you'll be able to, to move these uh, windows out of the, uh, of, the, of the truck itself. Um, another critical thing to know is, do you, are you able to receive a, a closed truck? Do you need a flatbed Conestoga style? Um, what are the restrictions that you guys are faced with in the field? Um, so we're not guessing. We're not sending out a truck that's just not going to work um, and make sure that you have the offloading method. Uh, what are the offloading methods, right? So what, what type of equipment are you using to offload this? And this list is pretty, it's been simplified, so it's, it's, it'll spark up some, you know, uh, uh, questions because, hey, do I have a forklift? I don't have a forklift. How am I going to unload this? So certain things that we try to prevent so then a truck doesn't show up and then it has to be rerouted back to a, a either back to our shop or it has to be re redocked to a local facility, which then you're uh, taking the risk of damage. Um, so anything that we can try to try to implement point A to point B, uh, this is kind of the letter that, that allows you to do that. Um, that's what I have for today. Just uh, brief, again, very brief, uh, how, how, how it's made. Uh, Installation-wise, uh, I did talk about that a little bit in my last webinar. Uh, there, there's a couple different ways of installation, different windows that we do make. Uh, this is the HM window, the most common window um, that is purchased. We do have a split frame window. Um, we do have a um, uh, U-shaped window for more of the more more of the industrial market. HM window uh, and our split frame window go into our architectural market quite a bit. And then we also have what's called a retrofit window. Um, that's basically our aluminum extrusion frame with the with the glass, and there are some materials that go in between the existing glass, existing aluminum frame. Uh, you'd see mainly where you would see these or need these are either existing office buildings that you're getting a lot of noise coming through the windows or in hotels. Um, so those are a couple places where we do make what's called a retrofit window. A lot smaller scale um, and, and lighter material. It's made out of our, our aluminum material. All of our windows that are HM split frame and um, u-shaped are all made out of steel they're not they're not made out of uh any aluminum or available in aluminum we do have different glass thicknesses half inch three eighths five eighths uh up to eight inch and an eighth if you need a blast uh blast resistant window uh, those go in the machinery rooms uh bullet uh, uh shooting ranges things of that nature um and then glass again can be installed vertically horizontally uh or, or i'm sorry tapered or straight um, in any thickness. Um, so I hope I've, I've given you guys a little bit of insight and input on, on a HM window, the life of an HM window going through our, our manufacturing plant and start to finish. Um, again, we do have, we are in the process of hopefully being able to put a video out there for installation for both our HM, HM window and our split frame window to give it, give you guys a little more input on how these things go installed into the field. Um, if there are any questions in regards to installation, uh, you know, for both HM and split frame, uh, please re feel free to reach out to me via email or phone number. I'll be more than happy to walk, walk you through it over the phone, uh, give you some more insight on, on certain things that need to, to happen. I did talk a little bit, I did touch on it a little bit more on the previous webinar um, that you can, you can uh, follow link on our YouTube page. Um, so yeah, I appreciate your guys' time and thank you for joining. And I hope this has been information uh, informal for you guys. And uh, again, if there's any, there are any questions, please feel free to, to contact me direct. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.